Ladies and gentlemen, what a joy it is to meet with you again. This is Monday Morning Manor. And this morning, as I'm about to share with you a portion of God's Word, I invite you wherever you are to kindly lift up your heart to God in prayer with me. Our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this privilege of prayer. We thank you for your abiding presence. May you speak to us this morning through your word, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, there is a story, an incredible story out there, and permit me to share it with you. 2 Kings chapter 4, verses 1 through 7. The Bible tells us, A certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets cried out to Elisha, saying, Your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that your servant feared the Lord. And the creditor is coming to take my two sons to be his slaves. So Elisha said to her, What shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in the house? And she said, Your maidservant has nothing in the house but a jar of oil. Uh, then he said, Go, borrow vessels from everywhere, from all your neighbors, empty vessels. Do not gather just a few. And when you have come in, you shall shut the door behind you and your sons. Then pour in or pour it into all those vessels and set aside the full ones. So she went from him and shut the door behind her and her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured it out. Now it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said to her son, bring me another vessel. And he said to her, there is not another vessel. So the oil ceased. Then she came and told the man of God, and he said, Go, sell the oil and pay a debt, and you and your sons live on the rest. Ladies and gentlemen, I've titled this brief discourse, He Knows Your Pain. He Knows Your Pain. I received an urgent phone call from a lady in New York City quite recently. Uh, she was recovering from the coronavirus, and from her voice, I could tell it was a call of desperation. She needed help, and she needed it quickly. She needed prayer. Uh, she was traumatized by the sound of sirens and the images of dead bodies and patients uh, who were fighting for their lives. It was unbearable. She was, actually, she was in a state of fear. She couldn't sleep at night. She was worried about her well-being. And so it is, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand uh, that coronavirus, I mean COVID-19, has brought with us real issues, real pain, real suffering, real uncertainty, real economic hardship. People are losing their jobs, they are losing income, and they are losing their economic independence. Added to that, the utility bills are to be paid. The property tax is to be paid. The car needs repairs. You find the banks are calling for the mortgage payment. Credit cards are calling. I mean, they need the payments. And so, ladies and gentlemen, it is a very difficult period for a very large portion of this population. But let me tell you, as we look at this incident in that lady's life, the Bible tells us that she came to the man of God. She came to Elisha the prophet. It was a desperate move. And Elisha said, what can I do for you? Today, God is asking the question, what can I do for you? What do you have in your house? Very often as human beings, we tend to focus on what we don't have. 
and not on what we have. We focus on our disappointments instead of focusing on our blessings. We focus on the problems and not on the problem solver. What do you have in your house? The lady said, well, look, I have nothing but a jar of oil. Only a jar of oil. Ladies and gentlemen, God wants to change your circumstance. I want you to know that he is about to give you the oil of joy where there is no sorrow. He wants to give you a garment of praise where there is no happier, where there is no heaviness. Uh, you got to understand that God is interested in your welfare. What is it you have in your house today? God is saying to you, whatever little you have, be it known that little becomes much when you place it in the master's hand. And so the lady was told, look, you got to go out there. Uh, go to the neighbors, borrow some empty jars, uh, lock yourself up in your room together with your sons. Uh, God is about to do something. He's about to turn that little room into an oil factory. And so she took the jar, uh, the jar that she had in her possession, the jar of oil, and she began to pour into the vessels. And she was pouring, and the vessels were being filled, and yet there was more oil in her little jar and as she kept pouring and pouring she said to the sons bring me more vessels bring me some more empty vessels and they said to her look we have no more vessels and the jar all the jars were filled and the oil in her little jar was no longer running then she goes to the prophet and she told him of the good news he said to her, go, sell the oil, pay your debts, and live on the rest. Today, ladies and gentlemen, God knows your pain. He knows you don't have much, but he wants you to focus on what you have and not on what you don't have. If you focus on what you have and put it in God's hands, he is saying, little will become much when you place it in my hands. Today, do you want to place what you have in God's hand? I want to pray that God will multiply that little that you have. Your heads are bowed and your eyes are closed. Loving Father, it is so comforting to take our little and place it in your hands. I trust that even as you came through, for that widow, may you come through for every listener today, uh, those who have that need, uh, that they do not know where to turn as they turn to you. Oh God, multiply their blessings, I pray. Solve their problems, meet their needs. In Jesus' name, amen.